UFC 239 took place Saturday at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, and at the top of the bill, two pound-for-pound greats defended their titles in successful fashion. In the main event, John Jones edges Tiago Santos by split decision in one of his most competitive fights in a long time. It went down to the wire, but ultimately Jones was able to get his hand raised in his 13th championship fight victory in the UFC, tying George St. Pierre for the all-time record, and this fight does open some interesting doors for Jones going forward. It felt like if he got the job done here and Luke Rockhold won on the lower portion of the card, that was the fight to make going forward. But we know what happened with Rockhold. He was knocked out brutally by Jan Blahovic and Blahovic definitely a contender in the weight class. I just don't think he is title ready quite yet at this point. There's more interesting options for Jones going forward. There is some very compelling 205 contender contenders. You can bring up the likes of Johnny Walker, Dominic Reyes. The list goes on, but I think right now is the time to look at that heavyweight fight. Jones moving up to challenge the winner of Daniel Cormier versus Stipe Miocic. He said he was absolutely willing to do that fight at the UFC 239 post-fight press conference, but reiterated that the terms need to be right, the money needs to be right for him to move up to heavyweight, and I think that is fair for Jones. He has definitely earned a huge payday for a fight, especially if it's against Cormier going up at heavyweight. Everyone wants to see that, and if Cormier is able to defeat Stipe Miocic at UFC 241 in August, I think you need to go ahead and do everything you possibly can in order to make that matchup. Everyone wants to see it is the fight to make. If Stipe Miocic wins, Jones said he's willing to fight him as well. I don't think that has quite the luster on it, but I think the idea of Jones going up to heavyweight would be a big seller regardless of who is the champion at that point. Jones has teased a fight against Miocic in the past, and I think even if he wins, that is a fight to make going forward. It's finally time for John Jones to go up and challenge the winner of that matchup. In the co-main event, Amanda Nunes does it again. She knocks out Holly Holm in the first first round with a sick head kick, gives home a taste of her own medicine in this fight, defends her bantamweight title for the fourth consecutive time. We, uh, Nunes, of course, a two-division champion. Uh, she is just doing magical things, and it's really hard to wonder what could possibly be out there to challenge her. I think the toughest test for her is a rematch against Chris Cyborg. Uh, Cyborg definitely has some work to do herself. She fights later this month in a matchup of her own, but if she's able to get the victory there, I think you have to do that rematch. It is the fight people want to see. That first fight was so, so crazy, uh, and running it back is definitely compelling. It ended so quick. would be very curious to see what Cyborg could do in terms of making adjustments. So we'll see if she wins her fight at UFC 240 later this month. If she does not, then I think we'll have to reassess the situation. Maybe the winner of Aspen Ladd versus Jermaine Durandamy could be the other possible matchup for Nunes. But right now, doors are open for her. We have to see how some upcoming fights play out at Bantamweight and Featherweight, and that will ultimately determine Nunes' next opponent. But if I had my choice, it would definitely be that Chris Cyborg rematch. Uh, just a huge night at UFC 239. These two champions come on top with, with their belts, and I think the options for them going forward are very interesting, so we will see what ultimately shakes up.